In this video, we are going to study linearity in parameters with Ramsey Reset Test in R. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, this is an educational video only and no professional advice is included within it. Okay, so let's go into R Studio. So the first step within the video is we need to load the corresponding packages. Therefore, we comment this as step one, which is packages. To load packages, we use library function. And within we have the name of the package and we'll be using for this video AER for data and then also with library function LM test for Ramsey reset test. To run these two code lines, we go ahead, select them and then we click run or control enter on the keyboard, which is equivalent. Then we continue with step number two, which is data. For this, we'll be using data function and within it, we have the name of the object, which is house prices. This house prices data object is located within AER package. Now that we have a single code line to run it, we again either click run or press control enter on the keyboard. So notice that this creates house prices object within the global environment as a data frame. And if we click on the spreadsheet kind of icon, this opens the data. In this video, we'll only be focusing on the first three columns of data of price, lot size, and bedrooms. The reason for this is that we'll be fitting a multiple linear regression in which we have the dependent or explained variable of price being explained by the independent or explanatory variables of lot size and bedrooms. If you have any questions regarding this data, you can go into the help tab and search for the object name, which is house prices and select it. And then you'll see the documentation below. So now that we have the data ready, we can continue with step number three, which is linearity. So we're going to test linearity directly by using reset test function. And within parentheses, we have the following parameters. The first of this, which is formula. And here we describe that multiple linear regression mentioned previously of price being explained by, with this special character, lot size plus bedrooms, comma, data, equals to that house prices object we created above, comma, and we press enter on the keyboard. Power equals to two, comma, type equals to fitted values within quotations. So what we're doing here is we're fitting a multiple linear regression of price being explained by lot size plus bedrooms using the data found within house prices object and within Ramsey reset test, once that original regression is been fitted, it performs the Ramsey reset test with a new regression by adding to that original regression at the end as independent or explanatory variables, in this case, squared fitted values from the original multiple linear regression. Notice that this parameter, specifically power and type equals to fitted, were only included as educational examples, therefore they're not fixed and they can be modified according to your needs. So what the Ramsey reset test does is an F test with the joint null hypothesis that fitted values powers coefficients are equal to zero. In this case, as we can see, we have power equals to two, then we're only included square fitted values. Therefore, it's a hypothesis of one coefficient. If you want to read the full documentation on this reset test function, again, you can go directly into the help tab and search for its name, or you can go into the console and input question mark reset test without parentheses, and you press enter on the keyboard, and you'll see that that opens the documentation right here within the help tab. So let's go ahead and select the two code lines and then directly press Ctrl Enter on the keyboard. And notice that this prints the results within the console for that reset test. We have here data, the description of the original multiple linear regression of price being explained by lot size and bedrooms. Then we have the reset test statistic for that F test 
degrees of freedom, and then we have the p-value. In this p-value, we have the null hypothesis, in this specific case, of square fitted values coefficient equals to zero. If rejected, model has incorrect functional form or misspecification. If not rejected, model has correct functional form when including square fitted values in Ramsey reset test. As mentioned previously, notice that tests can include cubic and more fitted values powers, which would depend on your specific needs. So with this, we finish the code file, so we go ahead and save it. And with this also, we finish this video. Thank you for watching.